welcome back to this session so in this session basically we are going to understand the code build demo uh, aws ci cd project to deploy a docker image over the ci repository so what things we are going to cover in this session so basically we are going to cover ci repository creation uh, aws code commit repository creation where we kept our code and later we are going to the build part so in the CICD project, we're going through the overall the step by step process, like uh, from where we kept our code, then we'll do build, then we're going for the uh, deploy and overall we'll going for the AWS pipeline. So in this session, basically we'll take a small project which works over the uh, code, uh, which basically build the uh, Docker image and the Docker image we're going to push on the ECI repository. So this is a pretty much a smaller project but yeah we'll going for the each and every step by step to understand how it works okay let's move forward okay so right now i'm in my aws console for console basically we'll going for the three steps so first we'll going to uh, going to create the ecr repository so in the ecr repository uh, i'm just going to create new repository here private repository i'm giving the name demo okay so this is the demonstration uh, repository let me create here so this will create a demo repository okay so this is the demo repository if you click here there is no tag or image available here okay let's move forward i'm just going to create a code commit here in the code commit let me go press the code commit so you can understand from the step by step so here in the code commit we're going to the repository uh, i have one repository but we don't uh, this use okay let's create a new so we'll create a docker demo we'll create here okay and just wait for the creation of docker demo okay so this repository has been created let's uh, clone this repository because uh, we can work from here also uh, but let us understand the cloning part also so let's clone the repository in my uh, vs code so i'm just creating the new window here in the source control clone repository we will clone here then we have to give the uh, local directory from where we can do the code copy okay so i'm just going to create here a new directory that is a docker demo okay so this repository has been created here okay it's cloning here okay clone is done okay so now we are in the docker uh, demo code repository now we have to write the code so for that we will take the uh, uh, source code for the docker uh, repository so we'll take the two files one is a build spec and the docker file will not go for the in detail but yeah this is the basic configuration file we'll understand so i'm just going to create this two file over there uh, let's try if we can copy directly here no the two different window not possible okay let's create the file i'm just copying this file name here okay build spec let's take the content okay and second file will create the docker file okay let's take the docker file container okay i'm just closing my previous window okay let's try to understand what things are covered here okay in the build spec you can see basically uh, this is the main file which basically understand the docker uh, sorry code uh, build pipe so that will read the build specification yaml and it will execute the command so this is the yaml format and it's basically doing the ecl login then it will basically treat this uh, date then it doing the build and then post build it we are doing the tag the tagging of the repository once tag is done so this is the base part and then later we are doing the we are pushing the if, if, uh, image to the ecr so here if you see there are the some some of the variable are used like default region image tag image name so that re, uh, variable we have to pass to the environment variable in the build okay that we'll understand in the our code builder section 
सेकंड वन द डॉकर फाइल सो डॉकर फाइल बेसिकली कंटेन द गो गो लैंग्वेज इमेज ओके सो दिस द बेसिकली डॉकर फाइल इनिशियली ए स्मॉल डॉकर फाइल दिस विल जनरेट द डॉकर इमेज ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू पुश द सेम चेंजेस टू द रिपोजिटरी सो इनिशियल चेंजेस so i can push the same uh, before that i need to add in staging so i'm just adding staging now i'm doing the commit and i'm just post commit we have to push okay i'm doing the push okay i think push is done let's go here repository let us refresh this one okay so just confirm that we got the code or not okay so now we got the code now we going for the code build so we created the ecr registry we created the code commit repository now we are going to create the build project okay so here in the code build you go to the uh, basically create the project here in the home section uh, create project so i'm just creating the project okay. okay so now we have to understand the what things are covered here first we will going to the each and every section here so it's basically giving the build base if you want to enable build base you can enable by default it's a disable so we're going for the not enabling this one okay now the key value that's a tagging part okay let's uh continue okay now the source where is the, your source is kept so you can use a different source like uh, s3 code commit github bitbucket github enterprise so in the next section we are going to understand the different uh, uh, source also like github and bitbucket here we are going to take the aws code commit so code commit our repository name we have to give the docker demo what branch we have to give also here you can see the reference type branch tag and committed you can refer the different option here branch you can select from here so right now we have the only one branch is the master and the master this is the latest commit so that last commit is will take if you want to use the specific commit you can change the commit here and if you want to take the specific tag you can use the git tag okay let's move forward uh let's go configuration so this is the uh, default configuration we will take the additional configuration git clone def and sub module okay now and my environment so from where uh, this going to build so which environment we will do so you can use the custom image and the manage image so we'll take the manage image here so operating system will take the amazon linux 2 there is a three option linux 2 ubuntu and windows server 2019 so based on the requirement you can use uh, option uh, so we'll take the operating system linux aws linux 2 uh, runtime we'll take the standard here image we'll take the standard image from the aws linux 2 okay since we are doing the docker uh, build part so we have to enable this privilege so it's it, it can say enable this flag if you want to build the docker image or want to build this to the elevator privilege so basically we need this privilege for the docker build okay now we are going to create the new service role or if you have existing you can choose here if you don't have existing you can create the new service role so we can create the new service role i will give the name uh, code build okay i'm just creating the code build role here now additional configuration you can see the build part timeout if you want to set up the timeout you can set the timeout between five minutes to eight eight hours that will uh, basically timeout given by the uh, code build but yeah we'll going for the default this is a queue timeout that also you can configure vpc if you want to specify vpc uh, that also you can make map the vpc if you need and what kind of compute you need basically there are the two options 4 gb and 16 gb you can use based on your build uh, complexity okay the next is the environment variable uh, as we discuss we we as we discuss here uh, in our build specification there are some of the variable have been used here so we have to use this environment variable like aws default region so let me take the aws default region here let's add the environment variable here so region is us east one okay the next environment variable is uh, we can see here image repo name 
so what is the image the phone name is the demo here you can see we'll give the demo the next element variable is image tag so we'll give the image tag as a latest you can change if you need anything else okay there are one more uh, account id let's say my middle account id we'll take the account id from here and just for posting here okay so we have added the whole four uh environment variable here okay let's move forward uh this is a build specification so basically where is your build specification ml file is located if you want to change or if you have any different path you can update since we have in the root level so no need to update here okay batch configuration will take the default one artifact will not go for the artifact now and the cloud was not here so it will basically populate the cloud was low right now we don't want in s3 uh, we'll check the cloud with log from the cloud watch uh, log group only okay let's create the build project here so to trigger the job we need a specific permission for the ecr so we'll go for the our uh, role here uh, in the im role i just uh, came to am role let me refresh this one okay so what role we have created the code build role this is the role we have created and there is a policy attached should be here okay so this policy we have to modify for the ecr accessibility so right now we don't we are not giving any uh, specific uh, uh, user base so it will take from the role so per role we have to give the permission so here we'll go into new statement and uh, in this statement we will give the permission for the ecr so i'm just copy pasting this permission i'll tell you the uh, what this permission is doing okay so this is basically doing the batch layer ability complete layer upload authorization token image layer upload the uh, image and put image and put layer upload part so this is basically we are giving the permission to uh, aws code build which can push the image to the ecr so the this was what i'm giving the start okay i'm just giving the save next and save changes okay so now we have done with the policy configuration let's go to the code build okay so our project has been created you can see there is a pro code build docker demo project is created you can see here okay so once we go on the docker demo project let's go to the start build so once we click the start build it will trigger the build so let me click the start build so this is triggered you can see the message here build started successfully and this is the docker demo build has been started this is the id okay you can see the log here in the build log the same page let me close this one okay so you can see this log here and once you click here entire log you can it will redirect to the uh, cloud watch log group so it will show up the details log here in the cloud watch uh, you can see this one okay this is the cloud watch population here okay so since it's not started it will not showing here but yeah it will show here okay well let's wait for a while okay so our process has been started you can see the log has been started here in the cloud also also you can see if you replace this part it will populate here so the log has been started you can want to validate from the cloud watch also you can see here a similar way you can see the log here so you can see it started the agent agent uh, getting startup then it will do the basic initial configuration then it will do login from the ecr and it will do build you can see it will do uh, build here it's in the build stage then it started the pushing see it's doing the pushing part also it's right now it's doing the build part from the go language once it is done it will push so here you can see it started here now uh, tag has been done so this is the given the tag demo latest once tag is done it will go to the next stage uh, of the pushing so here you can see it's started the pushing the repository to the demo uh, ecr repository so this is running so pushing part is running once this is done we'll check that uh, ecr repository whether that uh, image is pushed or not so let's wait for a while so it's saying basically phase is succeed but still the final message didn't come similar way you can validate the same log from your cloud watch also 
so here you cannot see the whole log that's why we are going for certain logs it will be trunk and detail log you want to see in the cloud watch okay uh, let's wait okay let me refresh the page okay so you can see it's failed somewhere but where is failed let's try to understand okay okay it's got successful it's not failed uh, somehow i see the fail okay no problem so it's it's saying the successful our image has been pushed you can see here and the log completely showing here the image has been pushed successfully okay let's go to the ecr repository and let's refresh here whether the image has been pushed or not you can see uh, the image latest has been pushed here so this is the tag whatever we given here so this is all about how we can work on the project of the docker uh, end to end configuration and uh, uh, we'll work from the uh, cicd part where we can push the code from the AWS code commit and uh, get the ECR updated uh, using the Docker image. So throughout we will work with the code commit, uh, code build and the ECR this Docker image. Next project we are going to understand one more combination of the Docker deploy part also and the Docker uh, and code pipeline also. So thank you for watching this video. Please please like, share, subscribe and keep sharing your uh, input so we can work on your input also. Thank you. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.